Good evening. I'm Jake Schrantz, and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. Earlier today, the athletic department announced the 2023 class of the Nebraska Football Hall of Fame, comprised of six former Huskers, two pioneers from the early 20th century, and one former state college representative. The six former NU athletes selected to the 2023 class by balloting of the Hall of Fame membership include defensive tackle David Clark from the 1980s category, linebacker Troy Dumas from the 1990s category, punter Sam Cook from the 2000 to 2006 category, defensive end Kyle Vandenbosch from the 2000 to 2006 category, quarterback Taylor Martinez from the 2007 to 2013 category, and offensive guard Spencer Long from the 2007 to 2013 category. The Nebraska Football Hall of Fame board also selected a pair of former Huskers from the Legends category, including head coach W.C. King Cole and quarterback Leon G. Warner. The former state college representative inductee is Dan Klepper, an All-America offensive guard for Nebraska Omaha in the 1960s. Full details on the Hall of Fame list can be found at Huskers.com. The Husker baseball team also made the headlines today as head coach Will Bolt announced the hiring of Connor Behrens as director of program development. Behrens joins the Huskers with a total of four years of coaching experience, including his previous two seasons as a volunteer assistant coach at Wichita State. The newly appointed director of program development began his coaching career the following year as an assistant at Lincoln Southwest High School, where he was an all-state all performer as a player. In national happenings, the NBA Summer League wrapped up last night out in Vegas, where the Cleveland Cavaliers took down the Houston Rockets in the championship game 99-78. to With that win, the Cavs closed out the Summer League session with a perfect 6-0 record. They did so through impeccable defense, holding opponents to an average of under 90 points per game. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Husker student-athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Now, get ready for a full two hours of Sports Nightly right here on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who remind you to buckle up and put the phone down. Snap back. Take the handoff, throw it in the flat. Williams makes a catch, trying to get away from Quinn. Newsom drops the football, and the Huskers have it at the 23. Williams just flat dropped it, and Newsom was there to pick it up. Yeah, too busy being busy. In motion, now is Brown into the backfield. And he races clear to the far sideline. Back to throws to Vito. He can tan. It's a sack. Huskers get a little sack at the 22-yard line. Isaac Gifford came off the edge, his first sack of the year. Here are your hosts. Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Thank you. Welcome to our Tuesday night show. Hope you had a great day today. We got a full two hours coming your way tonight as we will continue our position breakdowns. We'll talk about the running back room. I'm excited about that group, and I know EJ Barthel, their position coach, is as well. We'll get his thoughts coming up in uh, just a few minutes here on Sports Hunting. Hour number two, we'll continue our series of reports about nutrition. For Husker athletes, we'll have a couple different guests coming your way in hour number two. And as always, we want you to be active and a part of the program at 402-413-2400. Uh, that's the number to call once Cole clears those lines and or text. You can <laughs> hit, send hit. a number hit, in hit, as Cole. well. That's called on-air producing <laughs> right there uh, to get that out there. <laughs> Jessica, I just want to start tonight with a couple quick comments about the Hall of Fame class. It's headlined by Taylor. Taylor was an electric quarterback that had an odd throwing motion, but, man, I think he was probably the fastest Husker quarterback that I can remember. Eric Crouch might be burning up my phone here in a little bit, but <laughs> Team Magic could really run and took the Huskers to a couple of championship games, one against Oklahoma, the yeah. final game that Nebraska played as a member of the Big 12, and then in year two of the Big 10, led the Cornhuskers to a championship game against Wisconsin and had a run in that game that was unbelievable a lot of people forget about it because nebraska got slaughtered in the game but it was an incredible individual effort it's going to be great to have taylor back taylor has gone on and has been producing apps and games and that type of thing he's really an interesting guy so the whole we're really going to be glad to get him back in september uh, on campus i don't know that he's even been back here since his playing days ended well i mean i remember him well 
playing, but then he his name just kept coming up when Adrian was yeah. here. I mean, they were calling Adrian Taylor the whole time. So everybody's Somebody like, no, Taylor was the other quarterback. Somebody on one of the message boards says, ah, I don't like the fact that he ended his career at K-State. I don't know how you put him in our Hall of Fame. What? Different guy, different, different Martinez. Oh, my goodness. Uh, that's going into this Hall wow. of Fame. Spencer Long had a terrific Husker career. He's one of those great stories. Started as a walk-on in a program. Started on the defensive line got flipped over by the Bo Pelini staff to the offensive line, and boy, did it work out well. Ended up as an All-American here in Nebraska and then had a nice run in the National Football League with a couple different teams. Kyle Vandenbosch was a tear as a defensive end, uh, playing uh, for primarily Frank... Uh, Frank Solich, but also a little bit of Bill Callahan years in there as well. Sam Cook, an amazing punter whose son has committed to Nebraska. We're going to have another Cook on the roster in 2024, starting in 2024. Sam just recently retired from the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, he did get back with me today. We're going to talk to him, I think, later in the week. Troy Dumas was a terrific linebacker, a teammate of Trev Alberts. So the, the, Trev knows Troy really, really well. And David Clark, you go back into the, the late 70s, early 80s, a terrific defensive lineman. So it's a terrific class. You've got some other ones in there that, that Jake told you about in the ticker. But uh, that'll be a lot of fun. That will be, the first, I think, the first home game is when that group will be honored uh, on the field. They'll have a banquet the night before. Uh, so that's, nope, second home game. It's the sec 22nd of September. It'll be before the Louisiana Tech game. But... Uh, Spencer Long is going to join us tomorrow night. I think maybe Sam Cook on Thursday. Kyle Vandenbosch says he's busy this week. We'll try to get to him next week. And uh, I've not reached out to Taylor yet, but I will. I want to go back to Spencer Long because you, with the sideline slice with Searles, and we talk to him every week during the season oh, several times. I mean, they are best friends. and yep. that's. But what I'm getting at is when you hear Searles talking about the line that he was a part of, and it was a veteran group that grew up together and came up together and played a lot of football together. Spencer Long was one of the guys that played alongside Jeremiah, and that's an offensive line that anchored one of the nation's top three offenses for th or, uh, rushing offenses for three straight seasons while they were uh, anchoring that line. So, you know, just, I mean, I, that's a name that I, I know so well because I, I hear it a lot from Jeremiah. They're really close, and that group was really close. And so um, when you hear him making comparisons, that's a guy that was on that line. Part of that surprises me that they were that tight because Spencer is an academic All-American. <laughs> do, do, do. We're going to have to make the sure. Drum roll? I, I mean, I tried. I, I don't know. What do we rate that joke, Cole? Um, I'll have to tell Searles that. Uh -huh. I'll have to make sure and pass that along. Well, I mean, you know, he took a shot at you the other day, by the way. So, did. so you're that's just fine. giving it back. That's good. Uh, uh, Spencer, I think at one point, and I don't know what he, I, I, I got, I'm looking forward to talking to him tomorrow because I've got to catch up with him, but at one point he was taking the MCATs, he wanted to be a doctor, I, I don't know if he's now pursuing that now that his playing days are over, but just a terrific guy, so looking forward to chatting with him, and we'll try to work our way through all these guys uh, in the coming months, again, September 22nd will be the weekend that they will be here uh, on campus, so it's always a fun when that, that announcement drops out. Uh, there. So I uh, just wanted a quick hit on that tonight. We're going to talk running backs here in a little bit. Last night we were, I went over some over unders that I picked up when I was out in Las Vegas. And Sports Center did a little thing on this tonight. I'm going to wrap two things together here, Jessica. The, the World Cup for the women starts on Thursday. They had uh, a question on PTI tonight who has a better chance to repeat the women's World Cup team or Georgia in football? And when we last time we mentioned Georgia's over and under is 11 and a half, it's got to be the women, right? I think so, yeah. I just, there's, there's so many, how many times do we go into a season? There's more parity now. I mean, you yeah. know, like 10 years ago, five years ago, when it was Alabama was running through it and you knew, but I don't know if you can say that, not because Georgia isn't as good as that Alabama, those couple of those Alabama teams, but just because th there's more programs that have caught up and, and we see more surprises. How many times do we see a, a surprise? Of, oh, that team's good. TCU being one of them. Exactly. You know, I mean, there's just more parity with the transfer portal and the way that the game has evolved. I just don't think you can go into a season with a clear favorite and think they're going to run the table anymore. I mean, I just it just never fails that you think a team has the perfect opportunity to do that, and then somebody comes. And it might not even be an Alabama or a um, you know a team that's up there. 
that could compete with them. But it might, you know, I'm, I'm saying it could be somebody. I think even at the bottom of the SEC, how That's many times? True. Like South Carolina knocked off Tennessee last year That's when right. Tennessee was, you know, up there kind of trying to vie for a, or a, a college football. Or a rivalry game book. like a Florida. Yeah. Florida's just, only 500. There's but, too much at play yeah. for you to just say, oh, it's going to be so easy for Georgia to go around the table. So I'm with the I'm with the U.S. Women's National Team. And I think they're going to have their hands full too. I think that there's some some other teams around the world that have kind of closed the gap with them in recent times. I'm ready for the World Cup again. It starts on Thursday, uh, but. Love, I asked the boys before the show, I go, all right, I'm going to give you $10. You can bet over under on Georgia at the 11 and a half. What are you doing? And we, we all went under. We're all yeah. like, well, that means they'd have to lose one game. But, Jessica, listen to this non-conference schedule. Oh, here we go. This is Georgia, the mm -hmm. two-time defending champs, right? Yep. Tennessee Martin, Ball State, UAB, and then their rivalry game, their in-state rivalry with Georgia Tech. That's their four non-cons. Boy, wow. they will be three to four touchdown favorites in all four of those games. Their toughest games, they have to go to Auburn, but is Auburn really that good? They haven't been ranked the last couple of years, and they go to see your guy, Tennessee. That could be a battle. That's a, that, will be, that may be their toughest test. That's late in the season at Tennessee. The rest of the games, they're going to be big-time favorites in. I just, I mean, even though their schedule is that easy, and that's probably easy. a big part of why they, they set it that way, I still just, you just never know. You, you Every year you go into it and you're thinking, oh, how many upsets did we see last year? We do. You do. Getting you see it every week. teams that shouldn't be beat. So I'm not ready to mail it in yet. So that's for sure. Here's Alabama's non-conference, if you want a kind of a comparison, because they're kind of the other big dog in that league right now. Middle Tennessee, Texas. That's totally legit. You're yeah, playing, that's... Mm -hmm. uh, U.S., U, South Florida on the road, that's not much of a battle. And then Chattanooga. So, but at least, they, at least they put it on the line with Texas. To me, I feel like that's what you normally see is, is one really three, good. you know, tune-up games, whatever you want to call it, and then one solid non-conference matchup. That's what it should be. And then... Uh, but I think that's where some of the arguments come for... Some of these teams, when you, well, who challenged themselves and who didn't, and why, if you're just basing what Georgia did off of what they did in the SEC, well, who's to say, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's hard to, to give that argument away just because they're playing in the SEC. You can basically not challenge yourself at all in the non-conference. They need to play nine conference games. Yeah. They just do. Quit playing eight, play nine, and then so you're replacing Chattanooga with, and maybe it's only Missouri, or maybe it's, South Carolina, but at least it's a you know, power five team instead of getting to play Chattanooga yeah. in November. All right, I always look for stories because I know of your love affair with Texas, so I look for <laughs> stories to flag that deal with Texas. They got some bad news, Jessica. The SEC says they're not going to be strict with the horns down symbol where the Big 12 will penalize you. If, you know, you're out there in an opponent and you make a tackle and you give a horns down, they're going to flag you in the Big 12. The SEC says, we ain't doing that. Well, we ain't yeah, doing that. Probably say the SEC, if you're coming here, we're not, we're not soft over here. That's exactly right. The SEC said now, their, their head of official said, now, if you go up and get in a guy's yeah. face and yeah. do it, yeah, we'll, we'll flag you for that. But he goes, if you do it and you're celebrating with your teammates, we're not going to mess with that. I love it. You don't it's, feel uh, sorry for Texas? I mean, you're talking about two of the things I don't really care for a lot of times, the SEC and Texas, and I'm, I feel myself siding with the <laughs> SEC on this deal. <laughs> Who would have thought? But no, I mean, it's it's ridiculous that, that that's where we got to, that how many years did you see teams do that? And that's what Texas gets, you know? I mean, that's they kind of set themselves up for being taunted that way. I agree. So I totally agree. And I'm just giving you trouble. You no, know I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I remember they had a shootout going on. This is four or five years ago with West Virginia, I believe. Yeah, and West Virginia yes. goes into the end zone. Their quarterback makes a great play, scores a touchdown, and gives the horns down and they get flagged, and I think they missed the point after because it got pushed back to yeah. like the 30-yard line, and they lost the game by yeah. one. No, I remember it was, uh, uh, was it, gosh, who was that quarterback? It's a good quarterback. Yes. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm, like, I'm drawing a blank on his name, but uh, that came out of the SEC today. So even though Texas and Oklahoma aren't there yet at their media days, they're being talked about in, in that uh, – Media days that are happening uh, for four days. The SEC strands uh, stretches theirs out over four days. The Big Tens is a week from tomorrow. It's a two-day affair in Indianapolis, and I will I will be there and have some coverage from there. And hey, I'm going to run into our pal Damon Benning.
I know he's going to be there as well. We're hoping that to, the DB will give us a few minutes of time. Well, well it's funny. Well, for, I think it was Skylar Howard, right? That's it. Yeah. Yep. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I, he told me he was going to be there. I told him you were going to be there and that you were going to maybe try to find him for a okay. segment. And he goes, just tell me what time. I promise I'll be on time. <laughs> we have had some issues with that in the past, haven't, <laughs> haven't we? All right, so if you have some thoughts about any of that, horns down, the Hall of Fame class, maybe you want to reminisce about some of those great guys, uh, incredible stuff, the uh, uh, for, for all those guys that are going in the, the Nebraska Football Hall of Fame. Now, this is not the Cornhusker Football Hall of Fame. This is the Nebraska Football Foundation. And so there's a player from UNO that's being inducted into the Hall of Fame. And then there are some friends of college football that are going to be honored that night. There is a, even an award named after the great Lyle Bremser uh, that's going to go to some, some people that have been real supportive of, of particularly college football and, uh, and Husker athletics. So it's a fun, fun event. And then they all get honored on the field. Uh, prior to the Louisiana Tech game on the 23rd of September. All right, 402-413. Cole's got them open. That a boy. 402-413-2400. <laughs> and I'm going to dot us up with a comment or a question. That is our Sports Sunday Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com. Anytime they've got, get this, 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned that you can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. We're back to talk about the Husker running backs. E.J. Barthel will join me next. America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Get 3.9% financing for 66 months, plus up to $27.50 bonus cash on F-150 and F-150 Lightning. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day by day, donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker Athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. Hy-Vee makes grocery shopping easy with Hy-Vee Aisles Online. Just order online, schedule a pickup or delivery time, then leave the shopping to us. Download the Hy-Vee app or go to hyveeislesonline.com. It's easy to create and save grocery lists, shop the sales, and get fuel savers. Plus, with Hy-Vee Aisles Online, pickup is free on orders over $24.95, and delivery is free with the Hy-Vee Plus membership. Save time, shop online with Hy-Vee Aisles Online. Did I forget something? No, just wanted to tell you I love you. Oh, don't forget to buckle up. Drive safe. I will. Love you too. Someone is counting on you to buckle up. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Here's to the locals, raised right here in the Western Corn Belt. The strong ones. We help them grow stronger making world-class genetics, research, and technology local. The cutting-edge yet common-sense agronomy, the shake em up yields. Because we're born and raised here, too. And we'll keep raising the bar to ensure you only get the best at Hogemeyer. Raised local, raised right here. Learn more at therightseed.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. That's my neighbor, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, John. Joe's about to make a very big mistake. Hey, Joe, I think it might be a good idea to call 811 to have your underground utilities marked before you start digging. John, that's just for big projects. <laughs> Actually, it's for any digging project. <laughs> hey, congratulations, Joe. You found your electric line. Remember, safe digging always begins with a free call to 811. You want to borrow my phone, buddy? Brought to you by Nebraska 811. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. 
It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Farmers can make what seems impossible reality with a little hard work and ingenuity. They find solutions to reduce inputs and improve their yield. Valley Irrigation is no different. As the leader in irrigation technology, we deliver results and optimize your operation. Because when you have a vision for the future, you need the people that can make it possible by your side. Expect what's next. Expect what's possible from Valley. Visit us at valleyirrigation.com. You're in the driver's seat with Woodhouse. Shop, finance, and buy your next vehicle your way. From the comfort of your home or one of our 17 dealerships, we make it easy. And our selection of new and pre-owned vehicles means we've got something for everyone on our lot or on its way. Plus, with every vehicle sale, Woodhouse donates to the Food Bank Backpack Program to fight childhood hunger. Make a difference and purchase your next vehicle your way with Woodhouse. Greatness doesn't happen overnight. It takes time, focus, and dedication. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that because we put in the hard work and dedication for decades. And that commitment has paid off with award-winning customer service for your auto, home, and life insurance. See agent Matt Moorhead or Joanne Shamanek in Lincoln or Scott Jeffers in McCook today. FNBO is the great big small bank. And for more than 165 years, we've been with you where you are. A bank that's ready for all your needs, both big and small. Here to help you earn more, save more, so you can do more every step of the way. It's what you can expect from the great big small bank. FNBO, independent and family owned for six generations and ever so focused on you. Stop on by or visit us at FNBO.com, member FDIC. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center. It is sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. We continue tonight with our position breakdown. We're going to talk Husker running backs with running backs coach E.J. Barthel. And let's, I, I just want to start first about your room as a whole. What's it like? What's the personalities like in that room? Are they, are they fun guys? Are they serious guys? What's it like? You know, a uh, really tight-knit group. Um, uh, it's funny because both, you know, Gabe and, and, and AG are from the same high school, so, so they've known each other for a long time. Um, I've, I've known Ramir for a long time. Um, Emmett's from Minnesota. You know what I mean? So we got guys, you know, All the country. Some guys from, from, from local Nebraska, you know, Trev and Barrett and some of those other guys. Like, so we have some different, you know, different, different backgrounds. Um, but ultimately, you know, we're a tight-knit group. You know, and and uh, it's really funny being in there uh, when we're you know when we're relaxed and we're having fun. I mean, those guys get after they you know they, they get on each other a little bit, and they're really competitive. So um, it is it is an interesting room. And the the one thing is, uh, we've I've we've learned how to lean on each other this spring. You know, I think because it's kind of a learning process. The biggest thing I told them when I got here was, you know, I, hopefully we can get we can be friends. You know, I'd, hopefully that'd be that would be great, but. Ultimately, my, my job is to, is to, one, help develop you guys into great student athletes and, and, and really good running backs. Coach, how much is that part of what drives you as a coach to have those interactions and to have those moments where you are kind of one, even though it's 10, 12 bodies in the room? Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, I say that, you know, a lot of it, you know, a lot of my coaching career, um, I, I got from, from Coach Rule. Um, I learned a lot of things about accountability and and holding players accountable, holding coaches accountable. Um, I think, you know, full transparency in, in the room and being able to have those tough conversations is key for development. You know, and I think the kids have to understand that, that the criticism comes from a place of care, you know. And I think over time through action, um, they start to see that you genuinely care. And it's, it's not just words, you know. And um, I think that's what really gets, creates the friendships. That's what creates the bonds and the trust. Um, it's a matter of um, putting the time in to, to get to know, know each other, um, n know how each individual learns, um, how, how, why each individual is motivated to, to do what he does. 
And, um, you know, I think when, you, when you're an aggressive coach like, like I am or, you know, when, when on the field, they know that it's coming from a good place. And that's, you know, so, that, so we've, we, we've, we've grown a lot this spring. We've grown closer from when I first got here to, um, you know, to, to, to really kind of that big brother, um, little brother relationship. And I'm really, you know, we're, we're a tight crew. It's good to hear. Let's dive into this group. You mentioned Gabe. Let's start with him. I know he had a, a solid spring for you. What do you like about Gabe, and what are your kind of expectations for that young man? You know, I, at the end of spring, I, I, you know, the one thing I wanted him to really focus on was, was how to how to uh, approach the day like a veteran. You know, and and because you know he's got some experience, but you know he had the injury and hasn't seen the field consistently with the last two seasons. So. Um, he has to learn how to become, you know, he's an older player, but has to grow up pretty quickly this spring. And now he's kind of turning into a leader this off season. You know what I mean? And even yep. in the summer, um, learning how to become a leader, not just a vocal leader, but by action, you know, and um, when he makes a mistake, it's about getting, getting right back to, and, and correcting that mistake himself in front of the guys. Like, you know, there is no, you know, pouting or, oh, I messed up. It's, hey, we're here to get better. And he's a leader by action. You know, he's I'm not too much of a rah-rah guy, but I think that he's, becoming a leader and, and uh, he's really developing his practice habits, his training and, and his taking care of his body the right way, focused on recovery, um, you know, working with Christian McCaffrey, got a chance to, to, to really kind of see how guys really focus on their bodies. Something I give back to the guys, I'm always kind of using examples of Christian, how you take care of your bodies. And I want those guys to, 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 to take that, you know, that type of care on their body as far as like, you know, Let's go to AG next. Almost a thousand yards last year. Came close, um, you know, and that's usually the mark of a really good season. What about him and, and him adapting to you and the system now? You know, AG's again a very talented back. You know, he's he's got really good burst. He's got um, good play strength. Um, uh, the one thing that I would like um, that we've been working on this off season is teaching him, you know, the blocking schemes and teaching him the the run schemes, and so he can kind of look, you know. Maybe, you know, as a running back from Pop Warner to high school, even, in, even to some colleges, you usually rely on your athleticism or you rely on your speed or, yeah. your, pow you know, your power or something to, you know, but this level, you can't, you can't win every battle that way. You, ha you have to have a really good understanding of where the ball is trying to insert, what we're trying to do, what we're trying to accomplish, and here's where you, you should be using your natural God-given abilities, and here's where you need to time or use timing and patience and vision, you know what I mean? So... We've been really focused on that this off season, and, and he's he's coming along really well. You mentioned you've known Ramir for a while. Ramir is, I think, in Husker fans' minds, a pretty versatile back that can catch, picks up blitzes pretty well. What have you seen from him? You know exactly what you just said, but what people don't, you know, maybe people do realize, but what I've noticed since working with him, he's a really good inside runner. You know, Ramir has a good understanding of. Um, of where the ball is supposed to insert and how, and, and how to hit it and timing and, and getting vertical inside. Um, and he's actually sh powerful, you know, like, you know, he's kind of under smaller tight back and you look, look at him as he's got some power behind you know, behind his pads. And uh, he's another guy that's really kind of stepped, stepped up into a leadership role in, in the room, especially for the younger guys. Um, um, a lot like Gabe, you know, him, he's really kind of impressed me this off season, you know, and, and the way he approaches practice and, and, relying on his me being able to rely he knows what he's supposed to do he studies his plays you know he's he's becoming a really good um a good leader for the older guy, uh, younger guys again we're visiting with ej barthel huskers running backs coach as we break down that position here in our position breakdowns you mentioned younger guys emmett would be one of those younger backs in your room what progress did you see from him in the spring you know mental you know emmett emmett is uh, a you know a very competitive kid and he's got some good good explosiveness and some natural gifts and he wants to go, 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 go. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and, and uh, I appreciate that about him. Um, but he's really become um, a really mature young man in the last um, few months. He's really focused on one thing, getting better at one thing every week. And he's been challenged every week to get better at one thing, whether it be a route or whether it be um, a run or, and he's really kind of improved on all aspects of, of the game. You know, he's the kind of kid that he's very coachable. And he responds very well. And uh, I think sky's the limit for him. As far, his career will go as far as he wants it to go. Sure. Coach, the back you signed in the, in the offseason, the recruiting period, was Quentin Ives. 
you're familiar with him. He's kind of from back in your neck of the woods a little bit. Right. And I know he hasn't been here. You haven't probably had a practice with him yet, but you've been around him some. How's he adjusting to college football in Lincoln? Well, uh, you know, he just got here a couple yeah. days ago. Uh, he looks great. You know, he's, he's, uh, he just graduated school, and um, uh, he came out with mom, and uh, it, was, it was really good to experience uh, for, for But them. you're excited about him. I really am. You know, he, um, he's, he looked really good the last couple of days, very explosive. Um, very twitchy. Everything we expected him to be, um, he is. You know, he's, a, he's got a nice big frame. He's almost about 200 pounds. You know, he's he's going to be, you know, it's going to take him some time. He's a younger player and coming from high school and that transition process is going to take a little bit of time. But he, uh, he's, he's a very impressive young man for sure. Speaking of a big frame, you got an addition to your room during the spring with Janiron Bonner coming into your room. And Husker fans loved hearing the fact that you guys will employ a fullback at times with this offense. He's a jack of all trades, right? That's this right. guy can do a lot of things. That's right. That's right. You know, it's it's funny because we're talking about the DNA of, of the room and and kind of what the expectation of the room, what I'm, what I'm looking for in 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 in, in, in an individual, and Janarian not really wasn't didn't start there in the room as a as a fullback, you know, no. and but he's kind of taken on that role of being a team player, being a uh, a versatile athlete, being all the char characteristics we look for on the road recruiting, he is. You know what I mean? And that's that's really kind of a test. You know, that's kind of like a you know a reflection of Coach Rule. And, and let's focus on our players. Let's focus on what's in our on our roster. You know, like the answer always isn't going outside and looking for recruits. It's hey, who, who's here and who, how are they being used and you know what value can they bring? You know what I mean? And just look at look under every stone. And that's that's what we did with Janarin. Did it? Take some convincing to make that move, or was he up for it? Or ha and how has he handled that mentally? N not a, not a, not not at all from a convincing standpoint. I mean, he he's a team first play, first kid, and he was asked to give it a shot. He he, he did it with full you know, with full effort, and um, he was very humble about it, and he's embraced it. And he's a pretty good player. <laughs> yeah, he, really good athlete. That's right. Walk-ons, and you know this now, has is, is, is been such a big part of this program down through the years. You've got a handful of them in your room. Talk about some guys that, that maybe have caught your eye and that we maybe see on the field a time or two this fall. That's right. We had, uh, well, Trevin had a great spring for us uh, at tailback. Um, um, Trevor Ruth has made some really good strides in the spring, um, you know, with his, with his athleticism and things like that. And we got a, no a Notre Dame um, uh, transfer uh, from, uh, from Omaha, uh, local kid, and, um, Barrett and he's you know, he's you know big explosive uh, 215 220 pound um, you know athlete you know what I mean it's gonna we expect to help help out in the room um, we got some young freshmen coming in and it's really gonna be about competing with each other and really got and guys really getting after it um, this camp so we can kind of see who can um, really rise to the top out of that fullback position you know so I'm really excited about see what what camp looks like. How helpful can walk-ons be to a program? And I don't know if you've had much experience in the background. It's certainly been big here. How much value do you think they add? You know, it's funny. Like, to me, I don't, I don't look at it that way. You know, I don't look at, at, at a non-scholarship player as a walk-on or, or... They're just a player. They're a player. You know what I mean? And they, they, everyone adds a significant, amount of, a significant role, a, a, a amount of value to the team. And um, it's important that um, they understand that. You know what I mean? And... and there is no, there is no difference. I mean, you don't you, sign seats over here, no, and over here. Yeah, there is <laughs> front row, back yeah, row. Yeah, like if you're a member of this team and you're a member of this unit, you know, you're going to be in line with what we do and who we are and what we believe in, and and that's really the only way I know how to, how to coach. I know that's I know coach rules the same way. You know, I think um, I, I hold them all to the same exact standard as 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 the, the, the veterans. Yeah, yeah, the veterans in the room. You know, I think. Um, I think there's a significant uh, opportunities for them to make, impact the team, you know, on special teams, um, um, uh, and, and getting on the, getting in the rotation, and, and can trying to get the starting spot. There is no, you know, I, that's that's the standard. I mean, Trevin really impressed me this spring because you know I, I held him to just a hard standard, just like everyone else. And I don't know, I, you know he was kind of shocked that you know <laughs> I was throwing him out there, but. You know, he's, he's really stepped up, and he's, he's becoming a, uh, a guy I can rely on for sure. Well, I appreciate the rundown. I know it's going to be a competitive camp, and uh, I, just, I know you want to keep him healthy, but that's part of football too, and that's why you want some depth yeah. in a room. And this is the Big Ten. It's a physical league. These guys take a pounding week after week, so have a great camp. Well, we appreciate it. You know, I appreciate it. Thanks for all the support, and, and we're excited to uh, really get in front of you guys and, and start running the ball. Can't we're wait. excited.
Cannot wait. E.J. Awesome. Barthel with us here on Sports Night. Folks, buckle up. Put that phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. More of the show coming up next. It's time for another round of Nebraska Farm Facts. If there's one thing Nebraska's known for, it's our beef. And Nebraska soybeans feed a lot of them, and even more pigs and chickens. Farmers and ranchers raise livestock and poultry to provide nutritious, affordable protein for all ages to help build muscle and maintain energy for a healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind as you prepare all that tasty meat on your tailgate grill. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm broadcasting student Ann Gallagher with Campus News. UNL is the only Big Ten university in Nebraska, part of the only conference with an academic alliance. Being in the Big Ten means superior academics, unique student opportunities, better resources, and world-class research programs. With 72% of undergraduate students receiving scholarships or financial aid, UNL offers a Big Ten education at great value. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid materials with protein or Redmond Natural Mineral Salt for livestock or humans, Triple B has you covered. Let Brian and Brad Blauhorn help take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBFeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. <laughs> Did I forget something? No, just wanted to tell you I love you. Oh, don't forget to buckle up. Drive safe. I will. Love you too. Someone is counting on you to buckle up. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road Townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red! Dear roads, trails, and rivers, you ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved-up RAV4. And to all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the Trail Taman 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. SOS to the rescue! SOS to the rescue! 
As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Oh, but he can't make it because he's so hot. The air conditioning is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling his favorite Lux Air dealer. Trusted since 1950, with Lux Air, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. SOS. We're back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie, back with you here on a Tuesday night. Thanks to Coach Barthel for joining us. He likes his room, and, and I, I can see why. I like that room a lot. I, I, I think everybody that covers the Huskers, follows the Huskers, knows that Gabe Irvin's kind of a personal favorite of ours, and Anthony Grant put up big numbers last year. Yeah, I think that's that's a pretty solid one-two punch. I think, you know, and even just in my conversation with Gabe Irvin last in the spring, you know, he wasn't fully right last fall. You know, it takes a, a while coming oh, back yeah. off of a, a significant injury like that to get back into the swing of things. And then, and then yeah, I think he, he tweaked something again. And so I just, he wasn't fully healthy, and he had to learn the things that he had to do to get right in his body right and, and he's done that and, and focused on that and so and it had been a lingering issue now he's finally addressed that and, and this is the best he's ever felt and so and he's and we've heard them brag on him from the start how well he's attacked things the weight room and and he's been such a great leader but then yeah then you see what anthony grant did and and some of the things some of the runs that he made if he can hit the hole, and boy, he can go. And so, and then you throw in some of these other guys that they're excited about as Emmett. well. I was going to ask you. So, you know, we talked about defensive backs last night. I mean, rank, I guess, maybe your top five position groups that you're most intrigued by in the fall. Yeah, it's interesting because I did that hit on. Uh, I did a hit on XM Radio today on their Big Ten channel, and they were asking me, "What do you think's the strongest room?" You might have a different opinion, and I said, "I think it's DBs. I think the defensive backs is probably." the deepest and maybe most talented room. I said on the offensive side, probably running backs would be the room I'm most excited about. And I said, I think there's some depth at that linebacker spot too. I think that's pretty good. So those are probably my three. I still need to see it week in and week out from the offensive line, and I need to see it week in and week out from Jeff Sims. I, I liked moments of what I saw from Jeff, but I kind of need to see him do that in game action starting here in five weeks or six weeks. Tight end room is pretty solid. I think so, too. We don't have clarity yet on Eric Gilbert, yeah. whether he's going to be eligible or not. But Fedoni's pretty intriguing, I think. Yeah, I mean, I just, I know that he felt like he was ready and he was uh, chomping at the bit last year and, and wanted to go, felt like he was ready to go, and then was full go the spring. and. I mean, there's just no denying that he has the capabilities of making right. some very special plays. He's got to go do it. I mean, we've been waiting on it. I know, but I just think it's there. And then they love some of those other guys in that room, they too. They do. You know, so I just, I think they've got some, and, and a lot of guys that have played and been around and um, kind of know what it takes. And so they're, they're a little bit more of a leadership group as well. And so... I mean, I, I think they have the makings to be a very, very tight, uh, deep group and could see some competitive, competitiveness there throughout fall camp. I mean, I think probably Fedoni's a clear favorite, but how does the rest of it stack up? I think it could be a pretty good battle in that room, too. Orkutcher's played a lot of football here, so he'll factor into that. If Gilbert, to me, if, Gil, if Gilbert gets eligible, and I think we maybe get clarity in that before the end of the month, they've got to tell him, right? Before practice, you got to say yay or no. That guy is massive. Like he's huge. He, I went out there for the road race the other day, and they're not in pads, but he's just he stands out even without pads on. I mean, yeah. he, yeah, it it would be nice to have a, a weapon like that that they could get on the field as well, because he was the guy that stood out to Jeremiah when he was going to practice to prepare for the Big Ten right. champion or Big Ten championship, the big uh, the spring game. Spring game, yeah, yeah, spring game. And so he stood out to him, and so I think there's some potential there that, that could be a, a real big help in the tight end room. And wide receivers, I think there's some talent there. It's just who's going to step up and be the guy. Right. I, I mean, there's there's a couple different I options there. I think Kemp's your one. I think Washington's your two. And then is it Betts? Maybe. Is it IGC? Maybe. Is it a freshman like a Malachi? Yeah, I'm – that's that's going to be a fun. Call. There's a lot of battles, I guess, is what I'm getting at. When we're sitting here talking about which one are you most intrigued by, I think you could go 
with a number, a number of, of different ones. I think, I don't know if necessarily the, there's going to be many battles on the offensive line. It's more so building that depth. I think we know who those guys are going to be up front. Um, but the defensive line, there's not enough. They're all probably going to play, right? Right. So it, then then it becomes how does it stack up in those other positions where there are a lot, when, where there is a lot of depth. And there's, I think, outside of the... O-line, D-line, you're looking at some big-time battles at a lot of different spots. We're 13 days away from the first practice. They practice on Monday the 31st, and here we are on a Tuesday of this week, so 13 days for practice. I've been, I went out to basketball, and I've talked to volleyball, and everyone's kind of asked me, well, it's, it's, right, it's almost here, right? And I was like, yep. it's like three weeks away. I'm like, it's under three weeks it's away. It's two. <laughs> it's two weeks away. And next week, I feel like doesn't even count because... It's Big Ten Media Days. Yep. Then they report there's Fan Day, and so it's to me it's a week away for me when it starts. I agree. I think they cut the players loose. They went, the summer conditioning ends this week, so either Thursday or Friday this week, and then they let the guys disperse, go do something for seven or eight days, and then get back here uh, the following weekend to to report for camp and move into the dorms, which is just going to be fascinating to see how how all that happens. Right now, enjoy great value on outdoor power equipment from steel, from gas-powered blowers, chainsaws, and more, to high-performance pressure washers built to tackle the dirtiest jobs. Find yours at stihldealers.com. We're back to wrap-up hour one next. Husker fans, the 2023 Nebraska football season is right around the corner, and we need your support celebrating the 100th year of Memorial Stadium. Purchase a special Husker football through these gates mini plan. For only $100, you will be at the Northern Illinois and Louisiana Tech games, plus your choice of one home Big Ten game. Three games for only $100. Tickets available while supplies last. Purchase your through these gates mini plan today. For more information, visit huskers.com tickets. Go Big Red. Hey, Husker fans, Kinetic now offers fast 99% reliable internet for just $39.99 a month for 12 months. Whether you're at home, school, or work, Kinetic Internet delivers the speed you need to stream, game, and stay connected with fellow Nebraska fans around the world. Only $39.99 a month for 12 months. And just like our teams in Scarlet and Cream, no one else even comes close. Check availability at windstream.com. Kinetic Internet, proud sponsor of Husker Athletics. Terms and conditions apply. You're in the driver's seat with Woodhouse. Shop, finance, and buy your next vehicle your way. From the comfort of your home or one of our 17 dealerships, we make it easy. And our selection of new and pre-owned vehicles means we've got something for everyone on our lot or on its way. Plus, with every vehicle sale, Woodhouse donates to the Food Bank Backpack Program to fight childhood hunger. Make a difference and purchase your next vehicle your way with Woodhouse. Husker fans, this is Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. You've probably heard about NIL, name, image, and likeness. And now you can have an immediate impact on the success of our programs. The 1890 Initiative is a proud NIL company in Nebraska. And with your help, we can maximize our student-athletes' opportunities with NIL and prepare them for life after college. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics. Let's do the same with NIL. To learn more, visit 1890Nebraska.com, where 100% of your donation goes directly to Husker student-athletes. That's 1890Nebraska.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. hy V makes grocery shopping easy with hy V Aisles Online. Just order online, schedule a pickup or delivery time, then leave the shopping to us. Download the hy V app or go to hy V Online.com. It's easy to create and save grocery lists, shop the sales, and get fuel savers. Plus, with hy V Aisles Online, pickup is free on orders over $24.95. And delivery is free with the hy V Plus membership. Save time, shop online with hy V Aisles Online. To win the game, you got to have more strength. You gotta be tougher. You gotta be reliable. You gotta want it more than the other guy. And you need a great team you can count on, backing you up the whole time. Whether it's in the field with your Massey Ferguson or on the field with the Huskers, red is the color of getting it done quicker, smarter, and efficiently. So this season, make sure you're checking out the lineup that'll get more done where and when it counts. From your Nebraska Massey Ferguson dealers. Our Sports Highly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at Woodhouse. 
Dot-com anytime. They've got 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie back with you. Final few minutes of Hour 1 Sports Island here on a Tuesday night. We started the hour talking about the SEC conference head of officials today said that they're not going to enforce the old hook them hands down penalties that the Big 12 has done when teams play against Texas and give the hook the hands down motion. It's been 15-yard unsportsmanlike conduct penalties. We were referencing a West Virginia player from several years ago in Sam in Omaha, Jessica says it was Will Greer. I think you, you can confirm that's who it was. Yeah, yep. I said Skylar Howard, but Skylar Howard was the quarterback when they were really good that when they had a couple of pretty solid teams that won a bunch of games, but it was it was Will Greer when that happened. Okay. And then Art in Los Angeles said, Yep, Greg, Georgia has a super easy schedule and I'm still gonna bet the unders on them. Georgia's days are over. Boy, I don't know, Art. I think they're pretty loaded. Uh Here's my pick for the national championship game, USC and Texas. Art, what are you doing? Sorry, Jessica, but I said that USC will beat Texas. I can't see Texas being in the title game. Sorry. I don't think they make the playoff. No, I mean, I don't know. Um, they lose to Bama. That's one loss. They get one more loss. I don't think they make the playoffs. Yeah, I, I mean, in there's still, I mean, there's some teams that they very well could lose to in the Big 12. Sure. Well, Oklahoma could beat them. Yeah. Red River rivalry game. I mean, I, I do think they get K State in Austin. That'll help them in that one. I don't. But I mean, it seems like every year either TCU, Baylor, or Texas of, Tech beats yeah. Texas. A lot of people like Texas Tech's team. Yeah. You know, um, Joey McGuire was in Lincoln last I week. Saw that picture of him with hanging out with his son. That's cool. But did you hear? I mean, I'm still flabbergasted by this. Garrett's sister, Joey's daughter designed one of Taylor Swift's dress, dresses that she's that right? wearing on tour right now. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, uh, the Dallas Morning News put out an article about it. How about that if your parents having those That kind kids. of a talented kids? Pretty cool. <laughs> I'm looking at Texas' schedule. They do play that week two game with Alabama. Uh, they go to Baylor. They go to Houston. They, that shouldn't be a problem. They go to TCU, and they go to Iowa State. So those are their... And then you got to get through the, the Big 12 championship game, and you'll have a repeat. You might have a repeat. You, now that they've added those teams, you may not have a repeat. But, yeah, I don't, I don't see Texas going 12-1. and one. I just don't think that they're that to that level yet. I, I mean, but they would be a team that if it worked out well and they lost early, like look at, look at the push Texas A&M made. I could see Texas being a team that could get in with two losses. Possibly. They went. If they lost early and then ran the table and then and the chips fell how they needed to fall, I wouldn't be surprised. They were 8-5 and five a year ago, and that included losing their bowl game to Washington. So they got beat in their bowl game. So they're 8-4, and four, didn't make the Big 12 championship, and then lost their bowl game. That's a, but you that's know a the, big stretch. The powers that be at the SEC would love to have no doubt. Texas be one of those teams. I mean, you can basically count them in as the SEC, so they're going to get that SEC push. No doubt. Hey, folks, buckle up, put that phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. One fun hour in the books. Coming back next hour, we're going to dive more into the nutrition par part of Nebraska athletics, our continuing series of reports on that. We'll hear from a couple of people who handle juicing up the athletes, gassing them up, getting them ready to go, getting them ready to compete, getting ready to go. So we'll have that for you coming up in hour number two. Come on back, have some fun. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. That's my neighbor, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, John. Joe's about to make a big mistake. Hey, Joe, think it might be a good idea to call 811 to have the utilities marked before you start digging? I'm not digging very deep. It's no big deal. <laughs> no big deal. Dad, the TV's out. Internet, too. 
Remember, safe digging always starts with a free call to 811. Oh, what a knucklehead. Brought to you by Nebraska 811. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Farmers can make what seems impossible reality with a little hard work and ingenuity. They find solutions to reduce inputs and improve their yield. Valley Irrigation is no different. As the leader in irrigation technology, we deliver results and optimize your operation. Because when you have a vision for the future, you need the people that can make it possible by your side. Expect what's next. Expect what's possible from Valley. Visit us at valleyirrigation.com.
Good evening. I'm Jake Schrantz, and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. Earlier today, the athletic department announced the 2023 class of the Nebraska Football Hall of Fame, comprised of six former Huskers, two pioneers from the early 20th century, and one former state college representative. The six former NU athletes selected to the 2023 class by balloting of the Hall of Fame membership include defensive tackle David Clark from the 1980s category, linebacker Troy Dumas from the 1990s category, punter Sam Cook from the 2000 to 2006 category, defensive end Kyle Vandenbosch from 2000 to 2006 category, quarterback Taylor Martinez from the 2007 to the 2013 category, and offensive guard Spencer Long from 2007 to 2013 category. The Nebraska Football Hall of Fame board also selected a pair of former Huskers from the Legends category, including head coach W.C. King Cole and quarterback Leon G. Warner. The former state college representative inductee is Dan Klepper, an All-America offensive guard for Nebraska Omaha in the 1960s. Full details on the Hall of Fame list can be found at Huskers.com. The Husker baseball team also made the headlines today as head coach Will Bolt announced the hiring of Connor Behrens as director of program development. Behrens joins the Huskers with a total of four years of coaching experience, including his previous two seasons as a volunteer assistant coach at Wichita State. The newly appointed director of program development began his coaching career as an assistant at Lincoln Southwest High School, where he was an all-state performer as a player. In national happenings, the NBA Summer League wrapped up last night out in Vegas, where the Cleveland Cavaliers took down the Houston Rockets in the championship game 99-78. to With that win, the Cavs closed out the summer league session with a perfect 6-0 record. They did so through impeccable defense, holding opponents to an average of under 90 points per game. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Husker student-athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Now, get ready for Hour 2 of Sports Nightly right here on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly, all the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who remind you to buckle up and put the phone down. Snap back, take the handoff, throw it in the flat. Williams makes a catch, trying to get away from Quinn. Newsom drops the football, and the Huskers have it at the 23. Williams just flat dropped it, and Newsom was there to pick it up. Yeah, too busy being busy. In motion, now it's Brown into the backfield. He races clear to the far sideline. Back to throws to Vito. He can 10. It's a sack. Huskers get another sack at the 22-yard line. Isaac Gifford came off the edge. His first sack of the year. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Thank you. Welcome back. Hour number two, Sports Island here on the Huskers Radio Network. How about a new voice we put on the air tonight? I know. Give it up for Jake, one of our superstar students we have added on to the team. Fantastic. We're going to be adding some some students that are going to be doing a lot of work for us over the next school year. And so Jake has been in kind of learning the ropes and having to listen and take the abuse of Cole's jokes uh, for the last couple of days. Yeah. uh, We had, who else did we have in here? Um, with you guys, uh, who else? Who all was in here last Henry, week? Cole? Henry was here yesterday. David was here. Um, Camden though was here. He was going to run the run the five k with Cole. So I mean, that he's got not... him doing like everything. Now there was a request for some push ups. That has not I know. been done. I I meant to remind him that we expected him to run the five k during the show tonight. Disappointing. The push ups have have not happened yet. But uh, oh, he's going to do them. Well, are they thinking to be done during the break so we, we can so count them So we can them count off. them and see them yeah. and, and make sure you're doing proper form. We're, we're a little busy right now. Uh, <laughs> crypto in our, our chat room want to know about the Big Ten Media Days. They are next Wednesday, Thursday in Indianapolis at the, is it the RCA Dome still? I don't, I'm not sure what they call it anymore. It's where the Colts play. It's where the Big Ten Championship game is. It's, was called, it's not called the RCA Dome. I don't think. Lucas Oil. Yes. That's what it's that, called. Yeah. Was the RCA. Now Lucas Oil that's where it is. I'll be there. I'll be doing interviews. Damon will be there covering things. We'll talk to some coaches. We'll get a chance to talk to Matt Rural, some of the Huskers. Maybe I luck into the commissioner, but there's all kinds of national media types that I'll try to track down while I'm there for those two days. And I'll be joining you uh, both those nights from Indianapolis. Yeah, I mean, lots of intriguing storylines 
even though, um, I mean, Northwestern, we discussed last night, how are they going to handle that? We still don't know. But all the new quarterbacks, which so a lot of them are coming. So many. Which I thought was pretty, pretty fascinating that even these new quarterbacks are transferring in. They're bringing them to, to be the representatives of, the, of their schools. And so that's, that's an intriguing, fa intriguing fast uh, you just storyline for me. Go around the West, and this is the last year of the West, right? I mean, divisions are gone after this year, so this is the last year of the Big Ten West. Iowa's got Cade McNamara, who was at Michigan a couple years ago, played against the Oscars in this right, stadium yeah. two years ago. He's they're going to be their starter. Um, is it Mordecai? What's his first name? Tanner Mordecai. Tanner Mordecai. SMU was at Oklahoma, went to SMU, now he's at Wisconsin, yeah, going to be their quarterback. He was at OU for two years, so he worked with Lincoln Riley, who's a great developer of quarterbacks for two years. And, I mean, I remember Lincoln Riley being really, really high on him. It just so happened that Jalen Hurts transfers in, and then um, believe it was, uh, yeah, it was, I think it was Spencer Rattler ended up winning the job. They had a pretty heated battle. Um, but, yeah, they uh, Lincoln was really, really high on him. And so, you know, even just hearing quarterbacks that would come in that room and even the ones that left or just even went on to coach, there's several of them that just sat in that room and absorbed it that decided to go on to coaching. I mean, just, you know, say what you will about, I know about the way he left and maybe his teams don't play great defense, but there's no denying the way he can develop quarterbacks. Yeah. And so, you know, the fact that he got that foundation, Tanner did there, then goes to SMU where... He played a lot. Yeah, started. and wasn't Sonny Dykes there before he went to he was. TCU? He was. So, you know, he's, got, he's played with some great offensive minds and then, you know, going up there. So, and this is a veteran quarterback, too. So this is a guy that's played a lot of football and, and thrown it around a lot. So um, he'll, he'll be one to watch for me. And Purdue's quarterback is going to be Hudson Card, who is at Texas. Yes. But then here came... Quinn Evers back from Ohio State. Here comes Arch Manning, the nephew of Peyton and Eli, to Austin. So Hudson Card leaves. Goes. To, that's a good get for Purdue. That's a really nice pickup for the Boilermakers to take over that. Jeff Sims, obviously, here at Nebraska. Illinois gets a new transfer quarterback, Luke, Alt, Luke Altmeyer, who was at Old Miss, with another kind of quarterback guru in, Luke, in, in Lane Kiffin. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, there's some... Decent resumes for quarterbacks, and you're right. A lot of them are going to be there. And um, Crypto also asking which Husker players are going. Jeff Sims is going. I think that's a good move by Matt Rule to take Jeff and uh, get him exposed at this. There's a lot of national media that will be there to interview him. Ethan Piper is going to get a chance to go. So happy for Ethan. Ethan has just done a lot of things right on and off the field for the Oscars the last couple of years. Yeah, he's he really has, and he's such a... Um, he's infectious, his personality, and, and people are drawn to, drawn to him. I was eating in the training table a couple of days ago, and just the way that he was sitting down, and then you, you see a whole big group kind of conglomerate around him, if that's the right word, and just, uh, you know, the way that he draws people in, and he is he's a great leader, and he doesn't have to say that he's a leader. He just leads, and he's just one of those guys that, it's just infectious, and you want to follow. And then he does such good things when he's not on the football field and the way that he's given back and gotten involved with the community. And, I mean, the list goes on and on. I think and he's another guy that's been in the name. He's been talked about since this coaching staff got here. You have heard Gabe Irvin. You've heard Ethan Piper. And so I, I was not surprised by that one either. I was saying this last week when you were gone. You asked me who I thought would go. Yeah. And I thought Nash would have been one of those guys. You yeah. got to think he was probably in that conversation. Probably. Just when you hear some of the, the names that are being talked about. Uh, Ty Robinson might have been had he played in the spring, but I don't know if this coaching staff knows all about Ty yet because he didn't play. And just the way that um, Coach had Nash take the uh, take the football after the fullback handoff and, and uh, participate in that with Coach Solich, I just I think he's a guy that is really well liked with his coaching staff, and um, so I wouldn't have been surprised if it was him either. But um, and Luke, Luke is, gets to go. Yeah, yeah. So I think there's a number of guys that could have been in that conversation, but um, yeah, I think those will it'll be fun. Hard to argue with Luke. I mean, he's been the leading tackler the last couple of years. He's been one of the top tacklers in the conference. Uh, so. Those will be the three Huskers. And Luke's, Luke's more of a quiet guy. I mean, I, I remember sitting down with him a couple years ago right when I first got here, and, and he's not a real big vocal guy. And, and even last year, that was a challenge for him. He had to step into that role because it was some of those senior guys that left, the JoJo Domans, the Cam Taylor Brits. And so 
Luke had to... And those both were big personalities. Yes, yeah. Those and so Luke had to be more of that vocal guy. So that was an adjustment for him. And it's probably, honestly, this is probably another one of those challenges. I told you that he was on the sideline coaching during the spring game. And it's probably one of those challenges for this coaching staff to say, hey, we need you to, to be one of those guys. We need you to be a leader. We need you to be a coach for these younger guys. We need you to be a, a presence and, and the, one of the spokespeople for this football team. It's an honor for these kids to be selected it's to go. It's a huge honor, yeah. I mean... BTN has wall-to-wall -wall coverage. They're going to be on the set at BTN. All three of these Huskers will be up there. So you've got to be able to present yourself well. And as I mentioned, all the networks are going to be there with Fox. And I'm guessing there'll be a CBS and an NBC presence there now that they're covering Big Ten football. They haven't been they there They might in the have past. a set. I wonder if they'll have they a set. They might. But they've not been there in the past because they didn't have an agreement with Big Ten. What they'll probably be doing, though, is still getting some stuff for their... A lot of times you'll see them go through there and get some stuff for their broadcast right. stuff that they're putting together, their hype-up videos preseason. So they might be going... They might have a room there that those guys have to go do those I things for. I bet they for. do. I yeah. bet they do. So that's exciting. It's kind of cool. to. And, and if you've been watching, uh, I think some of the golf tournaments have been on CBS the last few weekends... They've got a Big Ten football promo going yeah. with their big theme music that the, everybody knows from their college football years, and it's all the Big Ten stadiums and logos and stuff. It's kind of cool. Will ESPN be there? No, I don't think they Not will. Not even to cover the storylines. Well, I'll, I what? bet they have some of their reporters there, like maybe an Adam Rittenberg who we have on the program and just doing hits, but I doubt they have much of a presence. It'll, I am really fascinated to see how they're going to cover this thing moving out. Like, are, uh, moving on, are they going to... When they're doing their sports center nightly hits or when they're doing game day, are they going to strategically stay away from Big Ten? How, I, mean, I, bet they, I bet they still do some game days from Big Ten venues. How about all the layoffs? You, I think that happened after I went to Florida. All the big, oh, they blew a lot of really talented people I mean, out. I was shocked. David Susie, Pollack. David, Susie Colburn, David Pollack. I mean, Gene Wojciechowski gets let go. There's a lot of really good people. Gone. I, I was really, really shocked. Several. And, yeah. And, and Doesn't NBC or CBS go get Pollack? You got, yes. Or Fox. I mean. Somebody. So, you know, the, the news today was that the Pac-12 is not going to make an announcement for not this, their. At their media days. It no. just, and some speculation that oh ESPN's I just I don't know if ESPN's going to spend the money to get the Pac-12 when they're still trying to maybe get the uh, NBA they got to renew that and they've got a lot of money tied up and that they've got to work through and they're laying off all this talent I just I don't know if they're going to roll out the big bucks for the Pac-12. Was Pat McAfee worth all that? Well they're the thing about Pat McAfee is that they're thinking that he's going to bring in money because he will bring in viewers with his show so that they can sell to advertisers. Are you a fan? Uh, I mean, it's not like I'm a, I don't I'm, listen to a show all the time. I'm really not. I, I'm not surprised that they brought him in because I thought they would bring him in to replace Lee Corso whenever he was done. And I think that's the thought. Because to be the big personality and the guy that fills the funny, because the other guys are kind of serious. And right. So you bring, have to bring in a funny guy, right? And he's kind of that. Yeah. He's kind of the goofball of the, the group. So, yeah, that I knew that. I knew there's so much happened when it's been three weeks since you and I have been together doing the shows and so much popped and the ESPN layoffs. That is not a good sign. That tells me that they're a company that's stretched right now. And you're right. How much can they throw into the fire of the Pac-12 media rights? Because they did do a little bit with the Big 12, with their new deal. They obviously own the SEC. They own the ACC. Do they have yep. any left in the coffers? For NFL, the NBA, I mean. NHL, they do all three. And months. now there's other, there's other, for a while they had the market cornered, right? And there weren't a lot of, there weren't a lot of places that could come in and battle them out for that. And now there's several. And now you're talking streaming services. So there's several other entities that have now gotten involved, whereas before it was only, you know, three or four that, yep. that could really actually come to the table and compete with ESPN. Now, there's several, and so they've they sold us, uh, shelled out a bunch of money for a lot of different things, and I just I, they're probably sitting there thinking, what's our priority from here on out? And I just I don't know how they're going to keep. You and I've been a big fan of of the big noon kickoff pregame show on Fox. They let Reggie Bush go, and I thought Reggie did a pretty good job. I'm surprised by that. They've added Mark Ingram, the former Alabama Heisman Trophy running back, so he's going to take Reggie Bush's spot. I, I, don't, I thought Reggie was pretty good on that show. I, that surprised me. I, I thought he was good, but also you have two USC players. That's true. On, good point. On that, 
and I wanted to have a different perspective. So that that was my, and yeah. Yeah. I don't know why they went with Leonard over Bush, but I just, and I. Ingram's from the SEC. And you already had a quarterback on there with. Um, a Leonard, or no. Uh, the Notre Dame quarterback. Brady Quinn. Brady Quinn, yes. Yeah, Brady Quinn. Um, well, our memories today with quarterbacks. Where what's going on? But you already had a quarterback perspective. But I just I would have liked to have had a different perspective that wasn't two USC True. guys. No, that's a good point. Good point. And then with Ingram, you can still cover SEC football with Ingram, even though you don't have the rights to the SEC. You can give some SEC flavor by having Mark Ingram in there. Crypto wants to know about Peacock. Yeah, folks, you're going to have to get Peacock. You're going to have to go buy that streaming service because they are a Big Ten partner, and I think they'll probably put. They'll probably put a lot of volleyball matches on there. They'll probably have some some basketball on Peacock. Um, maybe they do some wrestling on there. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. We'll have to see how they kind of play it. But you're, there, there'll be – well, there's a football game on there. It's Michigan State. Washington is on Peacock. It's a pretty big game. I've said this before, and, and I'll say it again. When we had the big um, Title IX on National Girls and Women in Sports Day, the Title IX event, and we had the panel of the head coaches – and came up about providing coverage for some of the Olympic sports. I mean, you see volleyball a lot on the Big Ten Network. You see women's basketball, but getting some of these other sports more on television streaming. Because women's golf, I mean, their Big Ten championship wasn't even That's anywhere right. to watch it. Yeah. And so that, and so Trev stood up and said, I, I will say this, when the new TV package, the new TV deal was being negotiated with Commissioner Warren, that was one thing that was very much talked about was we got to get some of our other sports some exposure right. some chances to be on streaming television tennis and Why so you put some tennis on there? yeah all of the above i mean yeah. there's several so to get them on where they're not just on the big 10 plus right behind the paywall there that it that get them more opportunities to be seen by more eyeballs right so and we may get some of that next week sometimes they use media day to release some of that information about upcoming television television uh, announcements or sport events that they're going to cover. All right, need to slip a, get a break in here. We're going to update you on some Husker nutrition as we continue our series of reports on that part of Husker athletics. Our Sports Only hotline is open and available for you at 402-413-2400. Brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime. 18 brands, huge selection of pre-owned that you can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. Back to talk some nutrition next. That's my neighbor, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, John. Joe's about to make a very big mistake. Hey, Joe, you think it might be a good idea to call 811 to have your underground utilities parked before you start digging? John, that's just for big projects. <laughs> Actually, it's for any digging project. <laughs> hey, congratulations, Joe. You found your electric line. Remember, safe digging always begins with a free call to 811. You want to borrow my phone, buddy? Brought to you by Nebraska 811. From the University of Nebraska Lincoln, I'm broadcasting student Ann Gallagher with Campus News. 26 Husker students presented research findings on nuclear deterrence to a panel of U.S. Strategic Command officials at STRATCOM headquarters in Bellevue. The student-led presentation was the culmination of a semester of STRATCOM-guided research and the latest in a years-long partnership between STRATCOM and the National Security Studies Program at Nebraska. Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skechers shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. Soybeans are an innovative replacement for petroleum, leading to more sustainable products all over the world. This message is brought to you by Nebraska soybean farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text Huskers to 83200. Standard text messaging rates apply and may vary by carrier. SOS to the rescue, SOS to the rescue. 
As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Oh, but he can't make it because he's so hot. The air conditioning is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling his favorite Luxair dealer. Trusted since 1950, with Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS, the rescue. SOS. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Husker fans, this is Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. You've probably heard about NIL, name, image, and likeness, and now you can have an immediate impact on the success of our programs. The 1890 Initiative is a proud NIL company in Nebraska, and with your help, we can maximize our student-athletes' opportunities with NIL and prepare them for life after college. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics. Let's do the same with NIL. To learn more, visit 1890nebraska.com, where 100% of your donation goes directly to Husker student-athletes. That's 1890nebraska.com. Hy-Vee makes grocery shopping easy with Hy-Vee Aisles Online. Just order online, schedule a pickup or delivery time, then leave the shopping to us. Download the Hy-Vee app or go to hyveeislesonline.com. It's easy to create and save grocery lists, shop the sales, and get fuel savers. Plus, with Hy-Vee Aisles Online, pickup is free on orders over $24.95, and delivery is free with the Hy-Vee Plus membership. Save time, shop online with Hy-Vee Aisles Online. America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Get 3.9% financing for 66 months, plus up to $27.50 bonus cash on F-150 and F-150 Lightning. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road Townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red! You're in the driver's seat with Woodhouse. Shop, finance, and buy your next vehicle your way. From the comfort of your home or one of our 17 dealerships, we make it easy. And our selection of new and pre-owned vehicles means we've got something for everyone on our lot or on its way. Plus, with every vehicle sale, Woodhouse donates to the Food Bank Backpack Program to fight childhood hunger. Make a difference and purchase your next vehicle your way with Woodhouse. Pickup truck, sports car, motorcycle, minivan, townhouse, two-story, farmhouse, fixer-upper. What you drive and where you live is different for everyone, so it's important to have insurance that fits your needs and is just right for you. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that, which is why our agents help you design a comprehensive auto, home, and life insurance plan. Insurance that fits just right. See Shelter Agent Natalie Kerr in Lincoln, Michael Reeves in Omaha, or Julie Null in Plattsmouth. Center Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you Tuesday night. Boy, we had some excitement during the break there. That was there was some action in the studio. Cole performed his 30 push-ups. And 31, we, I think. Yeah, he miscounted. And um, we made him say them loud, you yeah. know. And so we count, we watched him. We watched him do all 30. I videoed it for evidence. So. Well, and some smart Alex said his push-up form is better than his joke form. I don't know who said that. Who said that? But boom, boom. I heard his <laughs> joke last week wasn't bad. No, nah, I mean it. It was very mixed reviews. Really? Very mixed reviews. I mean, we had everything from. Eight and a half and nines to twos and ones. That that so. segment is under review for a long term <laughs> renewal. I don't know if it's gonna survive or not. <laughs> so we'll see. One thing that we have been really proud to bring people for the last year or so <laughs> Great segue there. is our nutrition podcast, right? What our good friends, Midwest Dairy. We talk about how these athletes are being fueled and, and to get the most out of them. And you've got I've, not one but two installments tonight that we want people to I've hear learned from. a lot. I really have. I mean, they, it's, it's good advice for even just daily 
day-to-day -day regular people that aren't, aren't athletes of, of how you should approach nutrition. But yeah, so we have a, this different members of the staff, the performance nutrition staff here at Nebraska that have been joining us each week. And the first week was Lisa Kopecki and Jake Blattner. We're going back to that here this week. And so here we're, we're going to start off with Jake Blattner, and he comes in to talk to us about body composition testing with these student athletes. And again, this is brought to you by Midwest Area and your local farm families. What's going on right now? What are you guys doing with the athletes right now to get them ready for everything that comes for training purposes in the fall? Yeah, definitely. So our track and field programs and like our basketball programs are starting to report back now. So um, I'm working with the men's basketball team and right now we're bringing up to our NAPL laboratories. So, you know, that's one thing Nebraska is really good at is this, the science and we're able to, you know, look at that athlete and break it down. And you know what do we need to be putting in our bodies? How do we improve? And what do we need to improve upon? So we'll do DEXA. That's the body composition testing that we use. Um, there's different ways of looking at body composition. Basically, what body comp is is looking at how much bone, muscle, or fat we have on our body. It's more than just looking at a number on the scale. It's able to say like, all right, you know, rink, you came in, you had 110 pounds of muscle on your body. Now we want to improve that. You know. What do, we, what do we need to do nutritionally? What do we need to do in the weight room? You know, next time we scan you or do your body composition, you know, how much muscle do we want to have on that body? Do we need to lean you out? It, is your bone mineral density in good position? So that's another thing that we use with um, our athletes is, hey, is, are we in good health standards as well? So. Why is it so important, the body composition testing, the overall, why, because you guys do it, I'm sure, periodically throughout the year, why is that so important to the athlete's health? Yeah, it's a piece of the puzzle. So um, a lot of athletes, they try to focus on a number on the scale, and, you know, a scale's, a, it's just a tool. Um, at the end of the day, it, it just gives you one number. And with DEXA, we're able to look at, like, well, what is that number actually comprised of, you know? Um, if an athlete loses five pounds, is that muscle mass, is it fat mass, just water mass, you know, it's able to give us a really scientific and in-depth look of what that athlete's made out of. So, you know, right now we're just kind of getting those baseline numbers. We have some new athletes on campus or even some returners like, hey, before Keisei went overseas to play in Japan, we got him on and we're able to say like, okay, you went and played a summer, you came back, like what happened to your body? Did we, you know, do we eat correctly? Did we, did we train correctly? Um, so we're able to make sure our jobs are also, you know, it, our programs are working essentially. Absolutely. Let's dive into the bone density part of it yeah. and how you guys monitor that. And I guess that's something that can be addressed if, if there's concerns there. Yeah, definitely. So when an athlete comes in, um, especially like our, I want to say like our distance crew, um, we want to make sure that our bones or our frame is able to take that impact. So we want to make sure that, hey, we have good bone health. Um, you know, like Zion Williams goes to the NBA and all of a sudden he's being held out with stress reactions, stress fractures. Well, sh did we have good bone health? Mm -hmm. Is there something we could have done differently? And there's other parts of it too. If we're low in bone mineral density, do we need to look at calcium or vitamin D? Let's figure out or address the problem. What's, what's going on with that athlete? So it's, it's a screening tool as long with a, as a performance tool for us. So um, like I said, there's other ways of looking at body composition. We can do skin calipers where we pinch the skin, but that doesn't give us, uh, you know, uh, what our bone min mineral density is. So I think DEXA is pretty much our gold standard. So tell us about, you, you've mentioned DEXA a few times. Maybe do a little bit more of a deeper dive into that and why that's so critical to your testing. Yeah, definitely. And like, from an editing purpose, we'll shoot you a picture of a DEXA machine, see yeah. what it looks like. Um, but essentially it stands for dual energy x-ray absorbitometry. So really fancy terms for it's a bed that you lay on and we, we shoot x-rays at you essentially. Um, so you have to go through some licensure and some exams and stuff like that. And um, like I said, it's, it's a really scientific way of looking at the body from multiple compartments or uh, multiple ways instead of just a number on the scale. And then just in terms of timetable and goals for these athletes when they come in and maybe even do it as a freshman when they come in and, and how you kind of go through the process of a year of testing and then how you attack some of those things that you're seeing that need to be addressed. Yeah, we definitely looked at uh, with our training periods. We want to look at for men's basketball specifically when we first come to campus, you know, two months ago for spring training or summer training. Hey, that's our first scan. 
Then at the end of, end of summer training, you know, coming into fall, we'll do another scan to say, okay, did we make the right progress during the summer? Is there something that we need to change quickly before season starts? Um, are, are we at risk for anything? So that's, that's kind of our, uh, I guess you want to say, checkpoint. And at the end of season, what happened during the season? Did our bodies hold up? Um, we can also look at risk for injuries too. Is there imbalances? A DEX is able to give us, you know, hey, are we carrying our mass um, you know, equally or not? Is, is someone at risk for an ACL injury? Or even, um, you, know, you know, for <laughs> um, someone does have an injury during the season, like, oh my gosh, we just blew an ACL out. How much muscle mass did you have on your right leg before that injury? And then after your injury, we wow. can kind of use that with our athletic training staff and our sports scientists to, to build a program and a rehab program off that. Again, that is Jake Butner with the Husker Performance Nutrition staff. And again, they're coming in and, and talking about different topics that, in, in, that pertain to performance nutrition and, and how they're really helping these Husker student athletes get prepared for a season, what they do throughout the season, and, and some of the things, the tools that they provide these student athletes. So he was talking about body composition, the deck save, which you apparently just yep, learned a lot about. I did. Yeah, it's uh, really important, and, and he actually uh, goes on to talk about a little bit later. That was just a portion of the podcast, but how what Nebraska has here is, again, what you continue to hear in all these conversations is unlike anywhere else. So what they have in, in terms of testing these student-athletes are is, is pretty rare. And so um, that was Jake Blattner. We have another portion of it coming up after the break that we will hear from Lisa Kopecky. And just think of the producing genius of this whole segment where we started about push-ups into nutrition. I mean, it just all ties together. He told me that he took notes of his pre and post game workout uh, meal, pre yeah. and post meal, and he was, I think, I guess going to take advantage of it before he ran the 5K, but again, we don't know if it paid off for him. Did because you carb, he didn't run did the you carb up? Yeah, like Michael Scott in the office did. <laughs> Honk, if you love trucks and bucks, the Nebraska Lottery's most popular scratch ticket is back, and you could win one of eight beautiful new blue trucks. Visit any Nebraska Lottery retailer and play today. Top prize odds, one in 336,000. We'll come back and finish off another part of the Nutrition Podcast. That's coming up next. You're in the driver's seat with Woodhouse. Shop, finance, and buy your next vehicle your way. From the comfort of your home or one of our 17 dealerships, we make it easy. And our selection of new and pre-owned vehicles means we've got something for everyone on our lot or on its way. Plus, with every vehicle sale, Woodhouse donates to the Food Bank Backpack Program to fight childhood hunger. Make a difference and purchase your next vehicle your way with Woodhouse. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Hy-Vee makes grocery shopping easy with Hy-Vee Aisles Online. Just order online, schedule a pickup or delivery time, then leave the shopping to us. Download the Hy-Vee app or go to hyveeislesonline.com. It's easy to create and save grocery lists, shop the sales, and get fuel savers. Plus, with Hy-Vee Aisles Online, pickup is free on orders over $24.95, and delivery is free with the Hy-Vee Plus membership. Save time, shop online with Hy-Vee Aisles Online. Here's to the locals, raised right here in the Western Corn Belt. The strong ones. We help them grow stronger, making world-class genetics, research, and technology local. The cutting-edge yet common-sense agronomy. The shake em up yields. Because we're born and raised here, too. And we'll keep raising the bar to ensure you only get the best at Hogemeyer. Raised local, raised right here. Learn more at therightseed.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. SOS to the rescue. SOS to the rescue. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Oh, but he can't make it because he's so hot. The air conditioning is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling his favorite Luxair dealer. Trusted since 1950, with Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS. 
Dear roads, trails, and rivers, you ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved-up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the Trail Tamen 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road Townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red! When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus. Insurance. Employee benefits financial services it's more powerful than the legendary husker option offense more powerful than the black shirt defense it's the sun and you can harness its power with jtec solar jtec the official solar energy experts of the huskers can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now solar power is clean affordable and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you. We played you part one of a new nutrition podcast in the last segment. Now you're ready for part two. Yeah, so Lisa Kopecky, the director of performance nutrition, is back. And the topic that she is going to be addressing today is REDS. REDS is a syndrome that results from underfueling and over over exercising. So student athletes who maybe aren't aware of how much their body demands from fuel throughout the day may be unintentionally under consuming enough calories to support the training that they're doing. It's very common across all sports, across both genders. And I'll give you a little background. So back in the late 90s, we had this term that was coined called the female athlete triad. So we had female athletes who were under fueling, who saw menstrual disturbances, and then bone-related injury. So it was this three-spoked wheel, hence the triad. Those of us that were working in performance at that time were really questioning, so what about our male athletes who are under fueling? And we mm -hmm. were seeing other things, such as decline in libido, changes in mental function, inability to gain muscle mass or strength during the training or difficulty recovering. So in 2014, the International Olympic Committee came up with this syndrome called REDS, which stands for Relative Energy Deficiency in Sport. So essentially it's under fueling or over training, but essentially we're not meeting the needs of the body. There's not enough left over after training to support basic physiological function. I gotta imagine that probably happens quite often, right? I mean, do you, I mean, it's, I know it's probably an education part, but. It is an educational component and our department this year is really putting a focus on that and we're gonna put some extra pieces into place to help screen all of our student athletes 
for REDS because unfortunately some of the symptoms that might show up could be psychological. Mm. So somebody may be struggling with depression or an inability to sleep. Somebody else may have chronic um, soft tissue injuries or not recover well from one day to the next. Somebody else might have an actual diagnosed eating disorder. Um, so it doesn't always align. There isn't one definitive diagnostic criteria that says REDS. It's an accumulation of a bunch of things together. That's why we call it a syndrome. And it takes all of the support staff coming together and actually communicating and figuring out what's going on with this particular student athlete. Who, what kind of athlete could be affected by this? All athletes could mm -hmm. be affected. And I'll give you an example. So every one of us, when we wake up in the morning, we're in a state of low energy availability. We have been fasting all night. We haven't eaten anything. And that's why we should start our morning with breakfast. And our athletes should absolutely consume something before they're doing their morning training sessions. The problem is, when underfueling has been going on because student athletes are busy, maybe they have class conflicts and they can't get to a meal, or they're busy socializing and they forget to stop and eat lunch before their next class or their training session. So that all leads to an unintentional um, underfueling, and over time that affects the appetite. So pretty soon student athletes are like, well, I'm just not hungry, so I didn't think I needed to eat. Mm. And then maybe what's the difference, I guess, between REDS and then an eating disorder or disordered eating? Okay, so there is a spectrum. So we have disordered eating on one end, and we have, or excuse me, we have eating disorders on one end, mm -hmm. disordered eating in the middle, and then we have normalized eating on the other side. Mm -hmm. I often ask student athletes, has anybody ever eaten because they were bored, hungry, tired, frustrated, or sad, and they all raise their hand? Well, that's disordered eating here in the middle of the spectrum. On the other side, when we have eating disorders like anorexia nervosa, bulimia nervosa, binge eating disorder, those are diagnostic-based diagnoses. So there's a specific criteria in the DSM-5. It is a psychological condition that requires the help of a dietitian to help manage or treat that condition. But that is a very specific diagnosis. Mm -hmm. REDS could be anywhere along that spectrum. It just depends on each individual athlete. So treating REDS can be very challenging because you don't treat everybody with REDS the same way. So if it's, it's just under fueling, right? If an athlete is under fueled, what are some of the foods or that you go to immediately to grab? Um, if an athlete is struggling with under fueling and I was to approach them and say, ooh, actually you need another 500 or 1,000 calories today, that's not gonna be really effective. That scares most athletes away. So mm -hmm. what we try to do is figure out what their normal eating pattern is. If they're currently eating three meals during the day and a snack, what are the components of those meals? Are we missing a group of macronutrients at lunchtime? For example, maybe they have a salad with a piece of salmon, but they don't have any carbohydrates to fuel the activity they're gonna be doing in the afternoon. So we might add some carbohydrates at lunch. Maybe their afternoon snack is gummy bears, and we try to change that a little bit and include a protein. Could we do an apple and a cheese stick? Um, maybe they're not doing anything at bedtime because they've heard through our diet culture that we shouldn't eat after 7 p.m. Most athletes should have a bedtime snack. Mm. So we're going to encourage, encourage another snack that's high in protein and carbohydrates, a yogurt parfait with fresh berries and granola, potentially a bowl of oatmeal made with milk, peanut butter and a banana sliced in there, maybe a deli meat sandwich with a piece of cheese. So we're just looking for opportunities in their current fueling pattern where we can add something else in, whether it's a piece of cheese on the burger they're already eating, maybe a slice of avocado in their stir fry bowl or enhancing their snack. I mean, just a couple of fascinating topics there, and there's a lot to cover and, and get into, right? But I uh, really enjoy talking with Lisa Kopecky. She's fascinating and breaks it down so well. And again, this nutrition podcast series is brought to you by our friends at Midwest Dairy. Late night studying, intense practice, cramming for that big test. Take a moment to reset yourself with dairy. Dairy foods like milk and yogurt allow you to stay in the game with immunity-boosting nutrients like vitamin A, vitamin D, zinc, and protein to keep you fueled without the crash. Trust, trusted by athletes and supported by science. A message 
message from Midwest Dairy and your local farm families. And again, that full episode will be out first thing tomorrow morning. Fantastic. Really enjoy listening to Lisa. She brings yeah, a lot. she's awesome. Brings a lot to the table. And I know for a lot of Husker fans, this is really educational stuff, stuff that they don't really think a whole lot about. Hey, to Hogemeyer, local means something greater. Raised local, raised right here in Husker Nation. Learn more at therightseed.com. All right, phone lines, text lines open, 402-413-2400. The push-ups are over, so we can answer those calls. Back to finish off the show next. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid materials with protein or Redmond Natural Mineral Salt for livestock or humans, Triple B has you covered. Let Brian and Brad Blauhorn help take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBFeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day by day, donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker Athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com donate. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's time for some Nebraska farm facts. Want to know a fast way to rev up our Nebraska economy while helping the planet? It's right in your tank. When you fill up with clean soy-based biodiesel, you're increasing Nebraska biodiesel production while reducing greenhouse gases by up to 74%. So look for biodiesel where you fill up. It benefits our air, our economy, and our farmers. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Hey, Husker fans, Kinetic now offers fast 99% reliable internet for just $39.99 a month for 12 months. Whether you're at home, school, or work, Kinetic Internet delivers the speed you need to stream, game, and stay connected with fellow Nebraska fans around the world. Only $39.99 a month for 12 months. And just like our teams in Scarlet and Cream, no one else even comes close. Check availability at windstream.com. Kinetic Internet, proud sponsor of Husker Athletics. Terms and conditions apply. Sports Highly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse. That's where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime. 18 brands, a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you're looking for. With Woodhouse, Greg Sharp, Jessica Cudi, final few minutes of the program, 402-413-2400, the number to call or fire off a text. Jim in Columbus said, how intriguing that interview was. There's more to an athlete than just being an athlete. How much thought was put into that amazing, we are what we eat. There's so much truth to that. It, I mean, so true. And I, I, I mean, I said it, I learned so much every time I sit down and talk with them. And it's not just, hey, eat a bunch and then go work out. It is very strategic and certain athletes need to do certain things. And, and those DEXA scans that we were talking about, I mean, and if, if their bone density isn't where it needs to be, they address that with certain things. There's right. just so many things that go into it that prevent injury, that help you get, uh, you know, wherever you need to be weight-wise. But then they're also talking about, hey, you're, you're being really hard on your body right now. We also want you to, your body to be able to do things when you're 20 years down the road. So yeah. it's also thinking about learning how to take care of your body now so that later on when you're done playing sports, you can still be active and you're not having these lingering issues because you didn't take care of it during this time. Last week, and you mentioned it earlier, last week I was out at the National Strength and Coach, Strength Coaches Association National Convention, and they have all these different presenters, and one of them was about nutrition I also said on a fascinating one about sleep. 
and how big sleep is and how much the industry has now wrapped their arms around that that it's regenerate. You've got to regenerate your whole body. Well, I mean, remember when Brett Haskell and Matt Rule sat here and I talked to them with during Mental Health Awareness Month and how that's the number one thing that they tell students. You have to get, get your sleep. sleep. You will not be at your best if you don't sleep. And so I've actually been trying to do that too because I found, like, I'm tired today, but I found that, like, I, I drag a little bit when I don't sleep. And so it just is so critical to your performance. And it's... Yeah, there's all the different things that are in place here for student athletes to be able to be at their best and to know all the things that you you need to be doing or or some of the things you need to tweak to ha to be at your absolute peak performance. It's it's mind blowing. I really. heard about a fa the 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 right way to nap. To right. Oh, you're not supposed to take get into it's, the REM, right? right. It's you got to be less than 20 minutes. Yeah. Or more than 90. Yeah. For it to do any good, if you're between 20 and 90. It's hurting you. Yeah. Because you're right. You get into the REM cycle. I've, I yeah. saw somewhere where I took notes. you're yeah. supposed to, like, put your feet up against the wall for, like, 10 minutes before you go to sleep, too. Hadn't heard that. That's good, though. It releases back. I also saw something the other day. I was going to tell Cole this before he ran. But, you know, when you grow up and you're an athlete and your coaches tell you not to put your hands on your knees, that that was not the right way you're, you're you know you're supposed to put it behind your head that that's false you do you're now they the study you is that yeah. you can get better air Isn't when you put your hands on your knees I, I think it was just a mental thing for coaches like probably because you, you, you look tired sign of weakness if you're putting your hands on your knees yeah you look tired yeah. but it's actually a better way to get air <laughs> i'm and uh, there'll be people that that know this there used to be the practice that they gave you salt tablets when you were in the heat of the summer working out because your body needed more salt, that's the exact opposite of what it should they be. They still put salt in Gatorades. They do. They do put some salt in Gatorades. I, I don't know if I've seen it on this sideline, but I know in the past on the Oklahoma sideline, they had a marked, you don't want to drink the one with the black mark on it because that had salt in it, and yeah. it was disgusting. But I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm sure I should pay more attention to that on the sidelines here if there's certain, if they put salt in things. But yeah, no, I mean, that's, that was in last week's about, or no, two weeks before that about, um, you know, or no, it was last week with wrestlers. Like you don't want as much salt because you retain more water. And so when you're trying to make sure that you're making weight, it, I mean, it is just, there's so much that goes Crazy. into it. Crazy. Hey folks, buckle up, put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. All right, tomorrow night, we announced today the new Nebraska Football Hall of Fame class. Spencer Long, one of those members, is going to join. He's going to join us on the program tomorrow night, and you're going to continue your series of reports of introducing us to men's bas new men's basketball players. Yeah, Bryce Williams, who we just talked about. I got to get used to calling Bryce Williams, not Bryce Matthews or Bryce McGowan's or Ada Bryce Williams. He's going to be in studio, so we're going to get to know him. I think he's going to be a fantastic addition I for this too. program. He was the MVP of the CBI tournament, which is one of those postseason tournaments. I, this has been on my notes for two nights, and I haven't gotten to it, but I do want to get into the topic. Maybe we'll have time tomorrow night or maybe Thursday that the NCAA is going to take over the women's postseason NIT tournament. It's kind of been a separate group that's done that. I think there's some pros and some cons to that. It's been on my notes for two days. I'll save it. We'll get to it tomorrow night on the program. This went fast, did it not? Yeah, it always does. Maybe it was the push-ups between segments that got us really I feel like through. it just goes by faster and faster every time we do this show. That's what some people say. I think they're... Caca, but, uh, you know whatever. what they say, you know, good programming goes by fast. Yep, still waiting for that to happen. <laughs> All right, uh, thanks to Cole. Hey, Jake made his debut on the network tonight. Did a great job on our ticker. Thanks to all of you for being a part of this program. We'll be back with you again tomorrow night. Good night. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Farmers can make what seems impossible reality with a little hard work and ingenuity. They find solutions to reduce inputs and improve their yield. Valley Irrigation is no different. As the leader in irrigation technology, we deliver results and optimize your operation. Because when you have a vision for the future, you need the people that can make it possible by your side. Expect what's next. Expect what's possible from Valley. Visit us at valleyirrigation.com.
Did I forget something? No, just wanted to tell you I love you. Oh, don't forget to buckle up. Drive safe. I will. Love you too. Someone is counting on you to buckle up. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. f and free checking. Is checking that's actually free. No fees or minimums. And now, no overdraft fees. It's ever so personal. With people to help every step of the way. And easy with a mobile app that allows you to deposit checks and manage your account wherever you are. So make the switch so you can do more with the great big small bank. Visit fnbo.com to learn more or stop on by. FNBO free checking. It's ever so free. Member FDIC. To win the game, you got to have more strength. You got to be tougher. You got to be reliable. You got to want it more than the other guy. And you need a great team you can count on, backing you up the whole time. Whether it's in the field with your Massey Ferguson or on the field with the Huskers, red is the color of getting it done quicker, smarter, and efficiently. So this season, make sure you're checking out the lineup 